Hi gamers, with the addition of new servers in North America scheduled for less than a month from now, a lot of people are getting really excited about the possibility of becoming landowners for the first time. But there are some downsides to being a homeowner, and it might not be for everyone. Maybe, like real life, this is something you should think through before you drop 3 million gil on a home. Here are the current housing options and why most players probably don't want or need a house. I'm Debbie, and let me lay it all out. Housing option number one, apartments. The only affiliation you require for an apartment is with your grand company. You need to be at least level 50 in one class, and at least second lieutenant. After that, you simply travel to any apartment building, there's one in every residential district and every subdivision, and purchase one from the apartment caretaker. And that's it, you own a piece of space you can call your very own. Unlike houses, it isn't subject to auto demolition, so it's yours regardless of how much time you spend away from the game. Here are the stats. Costs 500,000 gil. You can put in 100 pieces of indoor-only furniture. You can have four NPC vendors. No outside furniture allowed. Flower pots are allowed. Chocobo stables are available right outside. Teleportation is available to right outside the apartment building. The Orchestrian Armoire, Crystal Bell, Summling Bell can all be put into your apartment. You can unlock your door to have visitors come in and view your apartment. And there is no auto demolition. Housing option number two, Free Company Private Chamber. For this, obviously, you need to be a member of a free company. You also need to be at least level 50 in one class, and at least second lieutenant in your grand company. You'll note these are the same requirements for an apartment. To get a private chamber, you will travel inside your free company estate and interact with the door to select Purchase Private Chambers. And you're set! It doesn't ever auto-demolish, though you would need to vacate your chambers before you'd be able to leave your free company. If you're in a good free company that you'll be in for quite some time, the low cost would definitely make this worth it. But here's how it checks out. The cost is 300,000 gil. You can put in 100 pieces of indoor-only furniture, the same as an apartment. You can have four NPC vendors, the same as an apartment. No outside furniture allowed. Flower pots are allowed. The chocobo stable is available if your free company puts one on the property. Teleportation is available if your free company puts an aetherite on the property. Orchestrian, Armoire, Crystal Bell, Summoning Bell are all allowed inside your private chamber. You can unlock to have visitors, and there is no auto demolition, though you do have to vacate your private chambers before you can leave your free company. Housing option number three, small estate. The third option is a house. Now I'm going to look at a small home as these are the most numerous and the most comparable to the other two options. Medium and large houses simply have more space and offer the ability to place more items accordingly. But if we are just looking at a small house, per value received, you spend a lot more gil with little more to offer. And though currently still suspended as of October 2022, houses are generally subject to an auto demolition timer, which may be reinstated at any time. This means that after 45 days of inactivity, i.e. not entering your house, it would be demolished to allow an active player to claim the plot. You would be able to claim any removable items in 80% of your home's value within 35 days of demolition. So this is a commitment if you're someone who often takes long breaks from the game. Also, you need all the same requirements as the other two options to purchase a house, i.e. being level 50 and second lieutenant. You also need to purchase a housing permit to put a house on your plot. And so here's how a house stacks up. The cost is going to be 3 million gil plus, so generally between 3 million and 3.8 million for the plot, plus an additional 450,000 gil for a housing permit. The furniture you can place is 200 pieces indoors, so double what a private chamber or apartment would be, and 20 pieces outdoors. It allows up to six NPC vendors. You can have a garden patch outside with up to eight beds. Flower pots are allowed. Chocable stable is available if you place it. Teleport is available if an aetherite is placed. It's got the orchestrian armoire, crystal bell, summling bell. You can unlock it to have visitors. 
and you can have up to three friends as tenants with the estate sharing program. So that's how all three options stack up. I've had a small house for about seven years, but recently sold it to change servers to chill with my IRL friends. And all I have now is my free company private chambers. Oh, and the apartment I just bought for this video, I guess. And I don't regret it. A house is lovely, but if you're not actively having people over or hosting events there, it's kind of lonely. You run in, look around the place, take some screenshots, maybe interact with your NPCs, and then leave. Do you really need to spend 3 million gil on that experience? I guess that's a personal question. But if your answer is leaning towards no, maybe give some more thought to it before rushing out to buy a house when everyone else does on November 5th. I hope you found this video helpful. Do you have a house? Do you still want one? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments. I hope you have a wonderful day gamers, and I'll see you in game.